this is my Kamada Joe, and I'm going to sell it, and it's for a good reason. Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. This girl and I have a long history. We've been cooking together for a long, long time, and I really, really enjoyed using my Kamada Joe. And actually, it's my favorite Kamada Joe. This one and the version Big Joe. And I'm not selling it because of the build quality. Whose idea was it to film in the grass? Now the hard part. Whose idea was this? All the heat you can throw at it, it will do any job that you want it to do. I enjoyed my rotisserie dinners on this very much. And it's not because you can't make pulled pork on this. It smokes briskets. It grills picanha, flames and flare-ups, and it doesn't matter. And let me tell you, if you're cooking every day, there are a lot of barbecues that don't stand up to the test. And this one definitely, definitely does. One of my favorite things, for instance, is this cart. It is so crazy durable, it doesn't matter where you ride this thing, it will always survive. The ceramics on this thing is unbreakable. Even if you have a moist barbecue and you get it to freezing temperatures, it will not break. If you then rise it up to the highest temperatures, it will still not fail. Maybe every now and then you need to put some TLC in it, clean it up a little bit. Make sure that the gasket is still on, repair it a little bit, but then you have a grill that will last you a lifetime. So I'm gonna tell you now why I decided to get rid of it anyway. I, it's, it's like, I would like to keep this for the rest of my life, but sometimes you just gotta move on to bigger and better things. <laughs> you see, changes are always bittersweet. Yes, it's another Kamada. <laughs> yes, it's a new Kamada Joe and it's my new daily driver. Yesterday the package came and I started building it up straight away. Getting rid of all the packaging, building up the cart and then putting the barbecue on the cart. Putting in the inserts, screwing on the last attachment and then it was done. And here it is, it is ready. And I haven't fired this thing up yet. So it's brand spanking new. It's just, it has a new smell. You wanna smell my grill? It's weird if you start smelling each other's new barbecue. I already cooked on this, yes. A while ago, I already made a video about this barbecue. And if you're a regular watcher of this channel, then you know I had loads and loads of fun. It was like a weird uh, experience. It was like a, having an epiphany. It was cooking for the first time again, experiencing a whole new barbecue feeling. Playing around with a barbecue, like, like you get a present on your birthday and you have all the time to play around with it and you find out all the features and how well it works and how good it is and, and nothing about it is disappointing. I could even personalize it with a name. I could just... Fritz? Fritz? You can't just call it Fritz. It's gonna be Stevie. It was such a good feeling. And then after the video, I had to give it back. What? Give it back? Why? No, no. Uh, tomorrow? Nah, come on. Nah, yeah, but I would, can I just keep it a little longer? So I ended up giving back that barbecue with pain in my heart because I had such a pleasant experience. And in the months after, that feeling just grew and grew more in me. You know, it's like you're in love for the first time and you know it's the right person. Because there were moments I was grilling on my old Commander Joe, having a lot of fun, but getting called away. Had to pick up the kids from school, had to do some groceries in between, people coming over. I had to get away from my barbecue and every time there were these little moments where I thought if I would just have to connect to Joe, my problems would be solved. I really missed that connected Joe, but now I finally solved the problem. <laughs> and here comes the kicker. Now this thing is super cheap. I looked up the price. In the Netherlands, the price of the Connected Joe is 2,200 euro. I'm gonna give you the price of the Kamado Joe Classic 3, which is the upgraded version of my old barbecue. Look at the price, look, ta-da, what? That means that this thing is crazy cheap. Big picture here. This barbecue can do anything my old barbecue could do. As is right now, I have a barbecue that I can use manually by opening up the bottom and the top vent. I can regulate it just the way I want it to. And I get this as a bonus, the controller. So 
I get my standard Kamado Joe that will cost you around 2200 euro. But then you get a fully automatic system added onto. Basically, I could sell my pellet grill too. So I'm going to sell my Kamado Joe. I'm going to sell my pellet grill. That's going to get me plenty of money. And then I can buy this barbecue. Your wife can never say no to this plan. The way I do it, with the odd chance that my wife watches this video and I will be caught, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I'm gonna tell you how to sweeten talk your woman. The first step is to make her feel guilty. That always works with women. It has to be something that you did, which offset the balance. It could be that you did some yard work or you cleaned the house. And if you clean the house, you say, honey, I'm always there for you. You pick her up or you go with her, visit your mother-in-law. And then on the way back, you can talk about it. Your master plan, emotional leverage. Why are you laughing? This is serious. No, but this is how it works. All right, I said too much already. <laughs> it obviously worked. Before we do anything else, there's this little foil here. And then we, I wanna get that noise. Oh, I think I stated all the obvious things. If you want to see the full detail of how you're going to set this barbecue up, then watch the other video. We're going to put a link up here in the video so you can click on it. In the meantime, I'm just going to show you how we're going to burn in this barbecue. Let's open it up and I want to get some charcoal in and look at this system. Just put the whole thing comes straight out. And now it has a little bit of grease on it. So that's what we want to burn off. All the debris from the factory. And look, a little bit of styrofoam. That's what we're going to burn off. All the things you don't want in your barbecue. So I'm going to load it up with some Commodity Joe Big Block. I'm going to close the lid, switch it on. And of course, at first I have to go through the initial setup. Still got Stevie in, uh, in the app. Hi Stevie. Bye Stevie. Bye. Press and hold the Wi-Fi button. Beep. First thing that I'm going to do is switch it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius, and then I can start it up. Close the bottom vent, hit the ignition button, and then it's going to start up. And of course the top vent has to be open, don't forget about that. I bumped the temperature up to 350 degrees Celsius, and it took literally, wow, three minutes. This thing is red glowing hot, and the control on it is absolutely amazing. The speed with which it comes up to temperature is insane. So. Now you know, you can also start up your barbecue even faster. It works like a charm and I just want to cook something, but that's not what we're going to do in this video. Do we need to uh, address the elephant in the room where some people might say, well, it's not for me because it's not real barbecue, all the automated thing. You can run this with the controller off. Don't say things like that. The price is the same as a new Kamado Joe. It's a bonus. You don't have to use it, but maybe you want to let your wife use it. You can control it from a distance, whatever you want. You don't have to use it at all. It's still the same price. You get it for free. Thank you for watching. We'll keep on cooking in the next video. We're going to cook with this thing. I promise it's going to be running from now on. It's strictly Kojo, my new best friend.